Hey, Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I'm here with... Uh, Troy Hines at David Ling Real Estate. Okay, so you are the real estate you know, extraordinaire guy. <laughs> yeah, But I think that your story is different than a lot of other realtors. I guess everybody has their story, but sure. what is your background that's got you to this point now in your real estate world? Like, what's your background? Yeah. Yeah, I, so I have a, a, a th- third generation family heritage in construction and real estate development. Um, here in actually, Santa Cruz too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here in Santa Cruz, I think our our family's probably over the years built close to two or three hundred different buildings throughout Santa Cruz <laughs> County. Um, both my brothers are GCs, general contractors, and as was my dad, a, a subcontractor for commercial wood framing. Mm-hmm. Um, I was the first person in my family to go get a college degree. And uh, that ambition led me to be interested to in combining um, an education with the skill set and family heritage and construction and real estate. So I got my license in 2007, um, but then went into the renewable energy industry to get a substantial amount of capital investment and sales experience. Okay. Um, and so after about seven or eight years of that, I uh, renewed my license and joined David Ling to be able to really fulfill my calling and dream and and to work in real estate in my hometown in Santa Cruz. So what is it? I mean, what is it about real estate that you like, you wake up every morning and you're like, okay, I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh. Yes. You you would not believe how many different idiosyncrasies (laughs) there are with real estate. I mean, from like doing due diligence and discovering unknown value that might be in a property that the rest of the market doesn't know about. And then making my clients money to like, solving problems or getting a first time real estate investor at their retirement home so that they can stay with their kids as they have grandkids and, and yeah. be able to retain the, the home here in Santa Cruz. I mean, it, you, you can go anywhere from, you know, changing people's lives to just helping them, you know, set up a little nest egg to solving a huge problem in the community by being able to bring properties to the community and develop them or reposition them for a higher and better use. Mm-hmm. See, I feel like that's something that I mean, we've talked multiple times. The thing I feel it's different with you is that your enthusiasm for the whole like the whole ball of wax in a way. Yeah, of, yeah I'm just like, yeah. no, you're not just there just to sell a house and get a commission. No, yeah. no, no. It's funny, you know. Like I, I can think back when um, when I was a kid, I, I used to scavenge garage sales and used. I don't know. There's a store called Drew's Used Tools. You could buy used tools okay. at and. And basically, I would I would get tools, and then I would I would that were broken down, and I would dissect them, break them all apart, and put them back together. Yeah. And the cool thing is that um, you can actually do that with real estate transactions, and you can break them down and dissect them, and discover things that yeah. actually can create a lot of value, and then you can put them back together and create a really nice product for the community and for the owners. Nice. Yeah. So, what kind of clients are you looking for? What's like the, what's the the perfect ideal client for you? So, what I've found is that there's um, a lot of joy and 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 familiarity that how, that that comes with working with clients that have some generational relevance mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I'm in my mid 30s, and I've found that uh, most of my clients are between 30 and 40. Okay, I've had a couple that are in their late 20s that like our first time mm-hmm. home buyers, mm-hmm. um, and I've had a couple that are uh, you know in their in their mid to late 40s that. Um, you know, are buying perhaps like a, a second home or the beach house in Santa Cruz. Yeah. But the vast majority of my clients are up and comers and movers and shakers in their thirties. So is that, yeah. do they have unique challenges that you feel like you're trying to address? They do actually, you know, but Freddie Mac, so the, 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 big, the biggest challenge for people that, that are independent professionals and um, up and comers in the community are, are generally, they're generally self-employed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And traditionally the underwriting and financing standards for self-employed individuals have been highly restrictive. I've been able to establish some good relationships with brokers that can think outside of the box and have investors that will lend on um, you know, single one year tax returns and, and different types and, and understand the business of self-employed individuals. Yeah. And there's also Freddie Mac has also changed the underwriting rules to be able to to make this more widely acceptable too, which I can educate clients on. Nice. So there's a lot of programs out there that people may have been informed, you know, this is the hurdles and restrictions that they're up against, but um, you know, it, it's kind of a, a revolving door, and you always got to keep up with what the current yeah. standards are and what the opportunity lies ahead. That's what I was thinking. So you yeah. must put a lot of effort into like constantly figuring out 
what those opportunities are, what um, what you know, what loans or whatever they. Oh can yeah, get. yeah. It's like yeah. it's not just like the house. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I mean, I do so much. I mean, like for example, they just changed the rules so you can qualify Airbnb income towards oh, really? underwriting rental okay. income. You know, that's a new program. It's only a couple months old. Most people okay. don't even know about that. But there's constantly things like that that are coming up yeah. that can enable somebody to get the house that, that they really want or mm -hmm. be able to stay, you know, in the neighborhood that they really want to stay in. Um, and, and, and that's a lot of fun for me. It's yeah. very fulfilling. Yeah. No, yeah. it sounds like, I, 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 that's just what I, I, I love when someone's excited about what they do. Yeah. Like every time I've talked to you, you're not like, <laughs> yeah, well, I went in the office today. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely like, you know, you're oh, excited gosh. about it. So that's cool. Yeah. So if somebody wants to, get a house, they wanted their second house, they're, you know, they're a 30 year old, 40 year old, 50, whatever. Where do they find out information about you? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you can go to Event Santa Cruz Facebook, click on my name. Yeah. You can uh, walk into David Ling's Pleasure Point office and ask for Troy Hines. Okay. Um, or you just can, Google yeah, Troy Yeah, you can Hines. call me at 831-706-6224 <laughs> or just email me Troy Hines at DavidLing.com. And all his information will be, you know, at yeah. the bottom of this video. Okay. Hey, thanks, Troy. Okay. Thanks for your time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications, because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.